guys, I am Arsila Kairunisa, you can call me Sheila. In this video, I will discuss about the content of aloe vera. Aloe vera is one of the plant that are quite commonly found in the territory of Indonesia. This one plant is believed to have various benefits for the body. The benefits of aloe vera are widely used for treatment and human skin care. This is insuperable because of the content of nutrient in the aloe vera plant. Plant with a jagged edge texture have three layers, with the first layer function as a protector and also a place for the synthesis of carbohydrate and proteins. The second layer, also called litage, is a layer of bitter yellow sap. In the second layer, it contains a lot of atrocanone and glycoside, which are antioxidant for the body. The third layer is filled with a clear gel containing 99% water. In addition to water, the third layer also contains amino acid, glucomannan, lipid, vitamin, and sterol. Okay, guys, that's the content of aloe vera. My name is Farida Rahmila Fenzi and I'm part of Group 4. Now in this part, I will explain to you a little bit about the benefits of aloe vera for your skin and hair. So, aloe vera is perhaps one of the most widely used herbal remedies for tropical skin condition. This is because the gel-like components of the plant are known to heal a variety of minor problems. Despite its healing power, you might be wondering if it's actually safe for using on your skin or hair. Well, generally speaking, the answer is yes. When used correctly, aloe vera can help with a variety of minor ailments. There are some benefits of aloe vera for your skin and hair. Okay, the first benefit is that it can soothe sunburns. Because of its naturally moisturizing and subsequently healing properties, research has shown that aloe vera can also help with first and second degree burns. Some research found that there is a compound in aloe vera that has anti-inflammatory properties that aid in the skin healing process. The plant is also full of antioxidants that have a protective effect on the skin that's been exposed to UV rays. Aloe vera is also incredibly hydrating which could help combat the skin feeling that usually takes effect post sunburns. The second benefit of aloe vera is that it can help fade dark spots. So dark spots, or also known as hyperpigmentation, can leave their marks for a variety of reasons. It could be because of sun exposure, or acne, or maybe just a normal aging process. All dark spots have one thing in common, is that they're stubborn. However, a combined called allocin on aloe vera could help lighten things up. According to one study, when applied regularly for 10 a day for 15 days, allocin could really help with hyperpigmentation. According to another study, the application of allocin could directly inhibit the hyperpigmented skin from producing more melanin, which is the cause of dark spots to form. The third benefit is that it can moisturize your skin. Aloe vera's moisturizing properties are twofold. The leaf of the plant is rich in water that could help hydrate and lock the moisture in. When applied topically, aloe vera has shown to um, increase the water content of the outermost layer of the skin, making it an ideal ingredient for dry skin. And last but not least, the benefits of aloe vera for your hair is that it can help treat and prevent dandruff. So, dandruff is a form of seborrheic dermatitis and aloe vera has been shown to be the effective treatment for the scalp skeletons, irritation, flakiness caused by seborrheic dermatitis. In one study, participants who apply aloe vera onto their scalp saw a significant um, reduction of symptoms, namely 
body's going and aging. And according to another body of studies, according according to another body of study, the according to another according to another body of study, the antibacterial and antifungal properties of aloe vera help to treat and prevent dandruff altogether. So here I have picked me some example of products that actually contain aloe vera as their main ingredient. So this is for your skin and this is for your hair. And as you guys may already know, this is an incredibly high demand product on the market. And I think it just proved my point about all of the benefits that aloe vera has. So that's it from me and thank you very much. Bye! Hello guys, I'm Imam Wahyudi, you can call me Imam. In this video, I will discuss about the aloe vera for one and the pain. Aloe vera is the one of the traditional medicine that is often used to help the various and one including burns and abrasions. This plant can help heal wounds because it can increase the production of carotenoids which are strong enough and increase the stimulation of skin of cell migrations. Carotenoids are cells that make up in the epidermis and fungations to prevent moisturized and foraging ceramical compounds from entering and living in the body. In addition, aloe vera also contains luminance compounds. These compounds can increase the growth of cell regeneration and the production of collagen, and protein can increase one heat healing. In addition, according to research, from the journal months, aloe vera has the anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and antiseptic effect which are believed to help the wound healing process with increased production of skin carotenoids that are wound close and healing faster. Pain in inflammation of wounds can also be reduced thanks to use the aloe vera. How to use is very easy if you have sunburn, apply aloe vera several times in a day of the area. However, when the burns you experience are separate, consult your doctor immediately before you use aloe vera. Okay guys, it's a content about aloe vera one and a pay. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nindyok Rafiani, you can call me Nindy. Aloe vera is not only useful in the world of beauty, but also very useful in the world of health. Aloe vera contains vitamin, mineral, enzyme, sugar, amino acids, silicon acids, lignin, and sperm. Processing aloe vera for health is done by making aloe vera juice. Here are the benefits of aloe vera juice. Overcoming digestive problem, reduce inflammation, can detoxify the body, plus weight, control blood sugar, and then fix constipation problem. After cow, the benefit of aloe vera juice, we must cow how to make aloe vera juice. Here are the steps to make aloe vera juice. Hello guys, my name is Mufida Rona and I want to explain about set of leaves of aloe vera. Aloe vera leaves contain latex, which come from underneath the plant skin. Many people are allergic to latex, which can cause stomach issues like irritation, stomach cramps, and low potassium levels. Externally, latex could be safe for plant appropriately, however, more research is required. Most people can be allergic to the aloe vera gel, causing skin allergies, redness in the eyes, skin rashes, irritation, and burning sensation. Consuming aloe vera juice may cause your blood sugar levels drop. It has laxative effect which may have the chance of electrolyte imbalance in diabetic. If you are diabetic, it is better to consult a doctor before consuming aloe vera juice. The laxative effect of aloe vera can lead to dehydration. Laxatives are generally used to elevate constipation, however if taken in more quantity than recommended, they may cause dehydration. It is said that pregnant women and laxating mother should avoid drinking aloe vera juice due to its irritation quality. 
it may stimulate uterine constriction in pregnant women which may lead to birth complication. Aloe vera juice may lower the levels of potassium in the body, further causing irregular heartbeat, weakness, and fatigue. Elderly and sick people are generally advised to not consume it. The bioactive compound in aloe vera may interfere with liver detoxification process, but causing health complication. Stomach discomfort is one of the most common side effects of drinking aloe vera juice. The latex can cause excessive cramps and pain in the tummy. Do not consume aloe vera juice, especially if you are dealing with stomach problem. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.